Ik kom. Ja. Ja. Yeah, there you go. Nice shooting. Nice shooting, Tom. Thank you. That felt darn near dandy. That's right. <laughs> Game hog over. Hey, hold on. <laughs> hold on a minute. Hang on. Hang on. <laughs> Game hog. Thank you. Got them all. Look at them. Yeah. Peter yeah. Tilt. Peter Tilt. Go after him, sweet. You two got them all. A fucking solo. Nice shooting right Game side. hog. Heck you didn't yeah. shoot? Nope. I didn't shoot. You got all three. All right, guys. Welcome back to another video. As you can see, we are in a tilled wheat field with goose decoys out. We were doing some early goose hunting. It is actually the day after we were just hunting with this guy and that guy and that guy. Uh, different field morning after we got birds coming i didn't uh, want to start this until it got light out doing any talking or anything but we got like probably 40 geese coming and we got a pile on the ground already i gotta get in here got more geese coming nice work gentlemen 30 more to go Game hog, Let's go. you're doing a dandy job. Let's keep it up. We're getting them. I'd say kill these two if they do it, honestly. Yeah, let's take them. Nice. Kill him. Oh, Jesus, nice shot. Let's see it. <laughs> okay, get in the back of the blind. Thank you, Oh, it's an 1198. Hey, That's an oldie. A little older one. All right, we finally got a break here. It's been pretty non-stop since this morning. I don't know, what do you guys think? We got like 30 birds down probably, 25, 30. It's been pretty good. Uh, tilled field, like I said, we got our five dozen full bodies out, eight Daves in the kill hole again. And I think we got two bags of big L's out. Is that what you guys grabbed this morning? I don't know, we just yeah, threw a bunch of stuff out of the trailer and set it. Two bags, you said? Two bags. All righty. I'll be honest, I did do a little shooting. I put the camera down. There's only four of us today. We're missing Colin and Carter. They're out driving beat truck. Carter was nice enough to fill in for me today so I could hunt with grandpa and buddies here. Thanks, Carter. I think we got a little something down here, too. You gotta find it first, buddy. Oh, <laughs> down to the bottom of the pile. Hold on, hold on, hold on. Wait, wait. It's gotta be in here somewhere. We'll get there somewhere, sometime. Oh, I stole it. It's gone. Gone forever. Hello? There it is. 11.98. Pretty sweet. You wanna just take it off and put on my lanyard right away or no? Uh, all right, I need everyone's guesses where it's from and how old. We're gonna get everyone's guesses here where it's from and how old. <sighs> um, well, I'm gonna go with it is five years old and I'm thinking Mankato, Minnesota. I'm gonna guess it's either gonna be four or six, but if I had to pick one, I'm gonna say four. And I'm gonna guess it's from Fargo, just because I don't know any towns around here. Okay, <laughs> Grandpa? I'm gonna say Manitoba and three years old. My guess, six years old, South Dakota. So we got South Dakota, Winnipeg, 
Minnesota, Minnesota. All right. Yeah. Right behind. Yep. Go ahead. Four two eighty seven. Right. Well, we are looking it up right now to see how old and where it's from. Sweary's gonna have it for us here shortly. From twenty twenty one, so we were way off on date. Hatched in twenty twenty or earlier. And it was banded in Wilson, Kansas. Kansas? Kansas bird. <laughs> that is pretty sweet. That Not bad. Cool. Nobody guessed that one. Nope. Nope. Uh, that's kind of weird, though. We thought it definitely was going to be older than that. I mean, it's it got is. some brown on it, and it looks worn down a little bit. And just the suffix is an older bird, but... Yeah, 1198's usually... They must have had some extras laying around or yeah. something. That's pretty cool. Kansas. We'll take them. What's up guys? It's just Colin and I at the house currently. Today we are gonna make a goose pasta. Not a lot of ingredients, super quick and easy to whip up. Also, I'm gonna cut it the goose breast with a knife. So if you guys do not have meat grinders at home, it, it does the same thing, just takes a little bit more time. Seasoning, super simple. Garlic powder, garlic salt, salt, pepper, lowry salt. Pasta noodles. And I already got the sauce in here with different seasonings. Italian seasoning, garlic, salt, pepper, pink salt. Start with that for the sauce. And we'll get back to the best part of the goose. You're just cutting it up into small chunks. Go down one way and then turn it around and go the other way. Quarter turn it. Just like that, you got ground goose. And if your girlfriend doesn't like eating geese, just tell her it's like turkey, ground turkey or something, ground beef. Don't tell her it's a goose. They won't know. Imagine if I had a good knife. Isabel's cuisine art. Target, oh my God. We'll finish her off with some Italian seasoning. So once you take whatever knife you decided to use to chop all this up, fold her in, mix that seasoning quick. Right in the pan. Now you just start cooking it like any other ground turkey or ground beef. Spread her out, just let her cook. Check on her in two minutes. If you want to time it just about right, after that meat's been on for a couple minutes, drop in your nudes. Boom, beautiful. Transferred over. This is where the real magic happens. But cook-wise, like, as long as you cut it up into small, uh, small pieces, like that. Super quick, doesn't take a long time to make. I'm gonna add more pizza, I mean, uh, pizza. <laughs> add more pasta sauce. Mm -hmm. Goose pizza? Goose pizza. Well, there we go, we just got them plated up. Looks pretty good, not gonna lie. Let's eat. Really good, honestly. It's simple, quick, and easy. Phenomenal job again by Carter. And like I said before, if you have a girlfriend or a significant other that doesn't like eating ducks or geese, what do we tell them, Colin? This is a wagyu. Or you can say it's a sandhill crane. We're gonna be shooting sandhill cranes here. Y'all will see some sandhill crane videos on the channel. That'll be new to us. Uh, we're actually going up with Wyatt. You guys have met him. Yeah, Snow Goose Hunt. Mm -hmm. So that'll be fun time for sure. We'll be doing that for a couple days. And then it's going to be a duck opener here in Nodak. 
I feel like we're gonna rank this a lot more though. You can do damn near anything you want with goose meat, guys. Get creative with it. I forgot to film an outro in the field. Dearly missed you, cameraman Colin. We had a great shoot this morning. Shot 32 in a band with my grandpa. He had an absolute blast. I just dropped him off. He's heading home. Uh, we ended up with 10 birds his first shoot up here. Then we got 29 and then 32. So it slowly got better, but he had an absolute ball. We had an absolute ball together. Yeah, it was, it was a fun morning. I mean, the birds weren't exactly feet down like I was saying, but they were... 20, 30 yards right in the kill hole for us every time. So we got some good shooting in. I had to put the gun down a couple times to take some, sh or put the camera down, excuse me, take some shots myself because there were some pretty big groups working us. But for a tilled field, it went pretty well. I mean, sometimes they, they don't like to play so well in the tilled fields and they land all over the place because the food is more scattered out there. But they did it pretty good. I ended up with 32, so can't complain at all. Uh, Shout out Chance Pratt, can't complain, living the dream. But yeah, I mean, it was a it was a good morning, good trip for my grandpa. And we got one more hunt with uh, Sweary and Colton tomorrow morning. Hopefully that goes well. We're gonna scout this evening and uh, see what we can find. But if you guys enjoyed the video, make sure, drop a like, drop a comment if you got something to say. We'll catch you on the next one. Subscribe if you haven't.